So we now arriving at the reptile house. Yep. But I just want to know how many reptile species here in um, the, 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 the wildlife So center? we have uh, around 17, wow. 18 is... reptile species, uh, most of which are from Cambodia ah. because we want to teach people about Cambodian reptiles. Yeah, yeah. So you can see along here, wow. all of these snake species occur in Cambodia. Some yep. are very common, like uh, poor psycho. Psycho, yeah. yeah. Psycho. Uh, and the most common one, uh, poor okay. Tokay. Oh, okay. Tokay. Sorry. Yeah, so okay. this one quite commonly seen. Um, but we give a lot of information about them. Because you know, a lot of people think all snakes are dangerous. dangerous yeah. They're scared venomous. of snakes, they like to yeah. kill snakes. <laughs> but so we're trying to tell it, look, non venomous, harmless, no, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. So we're trying to teach people which yeah. snakes are. It might are be problem. difficult for them to, I mean, Identify. identify a big part of, yeah. of this. But the, the big our biggest message for this is if you can't identify a snake, mm -hmm. do not try and catch it. That's do right. not try and kill it. Right. Most people are bitten if they're trying to catch or kill mm -hmm. the snake. That's right. Yeah. Just this one. Okay. Very big iguana here. Yeah, so iguana this one here. recently came only only last week or, or just before then. Um, mm. actually were I come from Phnom Penh. So these mm. are not from Cambodia. This is exotic one. Yeah, this is a green iguana it's from mm. the Amazon. Mm. Um, the reason we take is uh, somebody in Phnom Penh want to, um, they move house and they, they want to get rid. Um, and I wanted to make sure they wasn't released or they went to a good home. Ah, so we take, we take see. them. So um, we, yep. Eventually these will actually go outside. Um, they, they're only in here temporarily mm. for now. Most of them uh, were bought uh, as pet, I think. The but green iguana, yes. Mm. They, they breed very easy in this climate, mm. which means people breed a lot for the pet trade, um, especially in Thailand. Mm. Um, but also, this is the, the risk with these. They do well in this climate. They mm. breed very easy. Very so easy. releasing these animals into Cambodia can cause huge problem. Mm. So we want to put the sign and tell people that releasing pets into the forest mm. is, cannot do, should not. Invasive species. Invasive species yeah. is, a, is a real thing. Yeah. I think Thailand already have problem with these oh, ones in the forest. I see, I see. And we don't want to copy that. So we haven't had any problem with invasive species so Not far. this got species. This one, right? I have seen some turtle, North no, American turtle, tur turtle wow. species. Um, that have been handed in, captured in the rice field, mm. actually from North America, not I Cambodia. Yeah, but I again, see. if you can buy them from the, the pet shop, mm. the pet truck, and then people mm. release. Mm. So this is a problem. It is easier access to that kind of pet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So which, which animal do you think is the most? So we have things, a lot uh, of iconic one. reptiles in here that yep. we want to tell people about. This so one? this is my personal favorite oh. uh, also. Um, occurs in Cambodia. This is what we call the King Cobra. The King Cobra. Or Puve Ronium. Mm. Right? It's the biggest venomous snake in the world. This is a female. She not the get, female not get too big. The oh. male can get nearly uh, up to around here? five meters. Do you have the male here? No, I only have this female. This female was taken from a market. She was going to be soup. Oh. So uh, somebody take her from the market and send her here. I see. Also, I have one over here, the Monocle Cobra. Oh, uh, uh, this one? Poor, uh, poor Krabai. Poor Krabai. The same, also came from a market that oh was going to be probably oh. snake soup. So how can you actually found, I mean, how can you find that one at the market? Now, this is, is just one? somebody, um, actually, uh, uh, I, this one was from my boss, my Kamai boss, a Kamai owner, he's seen the market. Mm. So he take and send to me. Um, and this one, I think some of his friends see. So they know about our project mm. and they know that we don't want people to eat these That's animals. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, now we can display them and teach people about them. That's right, yeah. yeah. This one also very, very, very... This one dangerous also, dangerous yeah. Well. yeah. But you know, only dangerous if you try and catch it or kill it. Mm. You know, if, uh, if you give the chance, we'll run away. Mm. It doesn't want to fight people. See, yeah. <laughs> it's try to avoid human as well. Always try to avoid people, yeah. So we have some around the corner, which yep. cause more problem with people. Um, and this is because they're not very fast and they rely on camouflage. Yeah. So oh. what they mean is, so if you interrupt one, maybe yep. in the rice field, like this one will run away quick, mm. it's very fast. Mm. But the pit viper and the vipers, they don't run away, they just hide mm. and stay still. The problem is, if you don't see them, you stand on them. I and see. if you're not wearing good footwear, <laughs> of course, you stand That's on them, right. they bite you. Mm. And this one can cause this one. a yep. big problem. Yeah. Are there many, I mean, are there big population of these snakes in Cambodia so far? Um, well, the king cobra pretty much needs 
good forest. Hmm. They will come out of good forest, hmm. but they need to be attached to good forest. The monocle cobra, so this one, and the spitting cobra, yep. the one that spit the venom, uh, it can be found amongst people amongst also, people. yeah. You know where, where you find people, you find mice and rats hmm. and many species that they eat. So actually, <laughs> yeah. when we, you know, we create a lot of waste That's and right. rubbish, and yeah. then we actually encourage them to our mm. house because we, we keep That's rubbish right. and other things around. So. <laughs> yeah. So, so sorry, the, these are what um, wow. we like to talk about. These are much more dangerous Malay, Malayan pit viper. because this is uh, this is a pit viper. The venom is very strong. Mm. Well, this snake doesn't want to bite you and it either. Only you, you actually walk on but, it then. Yes, you see the camouflage with the yep. leaf? Look, yep. there's another one this there. One. Easy to stand on it when it's in the forest or the oh. rice field. And uh, you know, often people in Cambodia, they're not wear, you know, boots or good footwear. Mm. So this one can bite very easy then. That's right. And the venom, very strong. Very strong. This one for uh, Srikacha, the same. This one often in the rice field. For yeah. yeah. You step on this one. This, this is a big snake. Have yeah, a lot of venom. Yeah. So these one, these two species cause the most problems here. I see. So compare between the the aquatic parts and here, which one people find more interesting? Um, I think it's probably quite equal because the people here never seen an aquarium before. That's right. Yeah. But this species one. like this, you know, <laughs> everybody know, but they cannot normally get this close. Yeah. In That's safety. Right. That's right. <laughs> so I think they like to come and see in here. And unexpectedly. It's yeah. unexpected encounter. <laughs> yeah, and then, get, and then get ready to get <laughs> What about this one? So this is what uh, we call a mangrove snake. A mangrove so snake. So actually you don't find in, in around this area mm. of Cambodia. This is normally around Kokong area, mm. where the mangrove, where the, the river meets Man the sea. Yeah, yeah. mangrove. Um, but uh, quite common and uh, not, not dangerous common. to people. Not, not dangerous. They do have some venom, but only to kill the, the gecko mm, or mm. the small lizard. For us, it's not too bad. Yeah. So how do we feed them here in, in the, uh, the cluster? So we feed on the, on the, the uh, with the tweezer, um, and we, uh, we use dead food. So this one also eat the bird. So mm. we use a small chicken. A small chicken. Yeah, we, um, it, it's already dead, but we make it look alive, and mm. often the snakes then go and So how, how, how uh, frequent, um, I mean... Uh, once a week, these ones get... Once morning. a week. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, once a week they get... Um, some of the big snakes, like the big uh, portalan, portalan, every two weeks, because you get big week. chicken. Yeah. This one is... Uh, the so this one is... Of, this one is the, endemic. This, uh, water snake. So water snake. Yes. Yeah, so this is endemic to Tonlesa. Mm. So this is a species that we want to concentrate, especially captive breeding and research. Mm. Because this species... By endemic means it only lives in Tonle Sap. Yeah. And there's a big um, unsustainable harvest of this species, meaning that if it disappears from Tonle Sap, it will go extinct. Mm. So this mm. is an endemic species. It means it's mm. vulnerable to overcollection for food. And so we want to concentrate on, on this one. But what are the biggest threats to this? This one is captured for food. Ah. Yeah, so many years ago, there was a study done on the lake which suggested up to 7 million snakes per year taken. Wow. Originally, it used to be for feeding the crocodiles Croc in the yeah, crocodile yeah, farms. Yeah, yeah. But now the cost of the water snake kind of matched the fish. <laughs> and now people decide Just they can the eat fish. also. Yeah, they could so, eat, yeah. Um, they still capture the lot. Mm. Uh, um, for, so for crocodile food and for, pe people, for people to eat to also. Eating, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you, do you see any change in behavior of people in terms of, I mean, catching this snake? Not, not really, no. Not really. I, um, so we did some interviews with the people that catch and sell these. Mm. Um, and no, their attitude towards this isn't changing because mm. they don't realize, they probably have no idea that this snake only lives in Tonle Sap mm. and it's a problem. Yep. Um, but also, uh, we did discover that the, the snakes, now that they catch a lot less than before yeah and also the size of the individuals it's are always different. smaller that's right which is uh, which is a bad sign <laughs> less mm. snakes and, less are snakes smaller, and they're smaller which means that what we thought was happening years ago the mm. over collection is that's right is happening yeah. yeah but luckily now the the, the crocodile market seem to be stalled and not so much that have been yes <laughs> used for the crocodile yes, yes which is very useful for that but now yeah. people Still eat decide it. to eat them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, okay. maybe a bigger problem. Mm -hmm. Are this one different from the, the one yeah. that we see earlier? So this is another species of what we call water snake. It's from mm -hmm. Tonle Sap also, but wow. this one is not just from Tonle Sap. Mm -hmm. You find in the rivers, in the, in lakes. 
in the legs. And, and we call the tentacled snake because it has the two tentacles like this. Yep. You see, you want by this fish. You want this fish to come closer. If it comes too close, it's going to catch it. Mm. But it's venomous, no? Uh, no. No, it's not venomous. No. So all the, the, the water snakes are not. So, some are slightly venomous, what we call rear fang. So uh, it has a fang in the back. Yeah, but not, not a problem to us. Yep. Uh, yep. A small fish, yes, but not, not to mm. us. I think. So we see a uh, royal turtle here. Uh, yeah. Where, where do you get these two turtles from? So these two turtles um, were given to us from the fisheries administration the fishery. oh. through uh, a project in Kokong. Uh, from the NGO WCS, mm. Wildlife Conservation yep. Society. They manage a project mm. on these, because these are one of the most endangered turtle species in the world, mm. right? Um, so we have two here for the, for display and breeding. Yep. Um, and um, in the future, I would like to build a bigger facility dedicated mm. just to this species mm. as well. Yep, this is uh, the, 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 I think the nationals. Uh, National reptile. Yeah, that's not reptile. And yep. When tourists come, uh, are there many local people aware of this, or just like they don't I, really know exactly how? Uh, when I speak to local people, yes, they seem they know. to know and act wrong. Mm. Yeah, much more than some of the other turtle species. Mm. So yes, um, they're certainly aware of them. I don't think they're aware of how rare they are mm. <laughs> now. Um, you know, in Cambodia, yeah. they're only found in one river yeah, in the right. Sriambo River. So ah. that means they have a very restricted range. Very restricted. Which is, uh, yeah. And, you know, we remove a lot of the sand mm. from alongside the river, so the females cannot lay the eggs anymore. Yeah. They need that sand. So that's right. um, this is a, an issue we need to tackle. That's right, yeah. So you only have two here. Uh, just a pair so far, yeah. So okay. this is the male. And this is the the male has the yellow eye, mm. and this is a, a female yeah. that has like a, a, a grey eye. That's so, the easiest way to, so to tell the do difference. Do they actually, we can do breeding and hard hatchings of this? Here? We we can so um, ACCB where I used to work ah. just bred some for the first time last year I think it was and mm. also down in WCS's facility WCS, in the yep, south yep. They, they they also breed now mm. these two are, are too young the two so young. The, yep. yeah these How species old are they? Um, I think they're around ten years no How maybe a bit know? more How do we know their age like because yeah, these these were hatched from egg by WCS. Ah. Yes, so I we know when they are hatched. When they hatch. Yeah, so but they need to be around 15 years to breed. So this is another problem. They take mm. a long time to get to breeding age. And now if too many are killed or captured, yeah, yeah. then uh, it becomes difficult to repopulate. So yep. yeah, so, so these are only young animals. They so get they get a lot bigger. The breeding age of this anim of this turtle is higher than the normal turtle or just like uh, the same? It depends on what species. But yes, this is quite a long time. Mm. 15 years is quite a long time. Years, yeah. If you think the small one, the box turtle, normally breed around four years old. Wow. So in comparison, that's yes, what, it, yeah. this is a it lot longer. Yeah. Very, very, this because it's a big species. Yeah. Oh. This one can get, you know, 35 kilo. Yeah, big, yeah. very big, yeah.